The iPhone 13 didn't really change much from the 12, but hey, if it ain't broke, running iOS 15 and powered by the A15 Bionic chip, the iPhone 13 is fast and reliable, but to take full advantage of it, you really need to know what you're dealing with. As intuitive as the iPhone 13 is to use, there's always a chance that you might be missing out on something cool, be it a feature or just a setting somewhere that could make your experience even better. So let's get into some of the top iPhone 13 tips and tricks you should definitely know about. Shout out to our sponsor Kovo, which makes some great accessories. Stick until the end to learn more about their newest charger. Sometimes things in life happen too quickly and you don't have the time to unlock your phone, then find and tap the camera app and then start snapping photos. And you don't need to go through this song and dance, as there's a quicker way to open your camera. Is there a UFO flying by really quick? No problem, just do this. Lift your iPhone so it wakes up and then immediately swipe left from the middle. That's it, you're in the camera app. Normally your instinct would be to swipe up to unlock the iPhone, but swiping left will open the camera right away even if the phone is locked. No worries, access to your photos is still disabled if that's the case. Just snap those blurry UFO or Bigfoot photos and worry about the rest later. Here's another basic but really helpful tip. I recently had to change the lights in my bathroom and you never realize just how pitch black a bathroom can be without working lamps. Well, at least a bathroom that doesn't have any windows like mine. Thankfully, your iPhone and mine have an LED flash for the camera like we mentioned earlier. And it can serve as a handy flashlight for cases like this one. Similarly to your iPhone camera, your flashlight is just a tap away. Lift your iPhone so it wakes up and the lock screen appears. Then press and hold the flashlight button on the bottom left corner until you hear click. Then release it. Voila, your iPhone 13's camera LED flash is now serving as a very bright flashlight. Tap and release the same lock screen flashlight button to disable it when you're done. Don't leave it on by accident, it's not great for battery life. Now, what if you're a brand new iPhone user and you're wondering what that physical switch is at the top left corner of your new smartphone? Well, Apple calls it a ring slash silent switch. Basically, it's a quick and easy way to make your iPhone silent. Whether you're getting calls or notifications, it will not make a noise. So if you want some peace and quiet, just turn that switch to the left and you'll see a pop-up on your screen that says silent mode on. Turn it to the right and it's back off. By default, your iPhone 13 also won't even vibrate when in silent mode. But you can change that by going to settings, sound and haptics and enabling the vibrate on silent option. This way your phone will be quiet, but you'll still know if you're getting a call. There's also another way you can make sure you won't miss any calls or notifications if your phone is in silent mode or even face down the table. There's an accessibility feature Apple calls LED flash alerts. When enabled, it will make the LEDs next to your iPhone's camera flash if someone's calling you. To enable LED flash alerts, open the settings app on your iPhone, navigate down to accessibility and tap it, then tap audio visual. There you will find the option LED flash for alerts, tap it to enable it. Now you have this powerful signal for missed calls and notifications. Note that this feature remains enabled even if you have your phone in silent mode. So if you don't want your phone flashing like that during a meeting, remember to turn it back off. Another basic but highly useful feature is taking a screenshot of everything that's on your screen to edit or share later. To take a screenshot on your iPhone 13, simply press its power and volume up keys at the same time. One is on the right side of the device, the other on the left. Afterwards, the screenshot will appear briefly on the bottom left corner of the screen. You can ignore it, in which case the screenshot will be saved to your photos, or you can tap it quickly to edit it. For example, you may want to crop it or mark something. When you're done, tap done, and once again the screenshot can be found in your photos. Now let's take a look at the Safari web browser that came with your new iPhone. It actually has two different interfaces you can choose from. One is the old one you may be familiar with. You have a search bar on top, and to switch between your tabs, you have to click a dedicated button on the bottom right. There's also the new, more intuitive Safari interface. That one has everything on the bottom of the screen, so you can easily use Safari with one hand. And switching between tabs is much quicker by simply swiping left or right on the search bar. To switch between those two Safari interfaces and see which one is better for you, open the Settings app, then tap Safari and scroll down to the Tabs menu. Here you can choose between the two. 
with the new one being on by default and honestly I would recommend going with that one. But hey, if you miss the old Safari, feel free to switch to it from that same menu by clicking single tap. Now on to privacy. On your iPhone 13 you can stop all apps from tracking you or even bothering you with tracking requests. You may have noticed that when you install new social media apps for example, at first launch they usually ask you if they can track your activity, most commonly for advertising purposes. If you're tired of apps asking you to let them track you or simply wish to stop all of your apps from tracking you, you can. Open the settings app then tap privacy then tracking. Here you'll see all of your apps that have requested to track you and whether you've said yes or no. At the top is an option that says allow apps to request to track which is enabled by default. Simply disable it after which apps will no longer ask to track you as your iPhone will automatically deny any such requests. And while we're on the subject of privacy, are you bothered by unknown numbers and spam calls? You can silence those and only get calls from the people you know. Open the settings app, navigate down to phone and tap it. Then tap silence unknown callers and enable it. Now your ringtone will only play if people from your contacts list are calling. Will calls from any unknown numbers will be silenced and sent to voicemail. No more calls from strangers and scammers, for as long as you keep this setting on. Here's a fun new feature that you can try on your iPhone 13. Did you know that it can now read and even let you select and translate text from photos? For example, you can take a photo with the camera app of a document, then open that photo and double tap any of the text in it. Your iPhone will then show a small pop-up from which you can copy the selected text, or if you tap the little arrow to the right, you can even translate it to another language. Sadly, only five languages are supported by this feature, but for example, if you're on a trip to Italy, walking around Rome, and you see a sign that you can't read, you can take a photo of that sign and translate it. Very useful. Here's something that happened to me recently. I dropped my iPhone from less than knee height and its screen still managed to scratch a little bit. So it's too little too late, but I decided to buy a nice durable case to prevent further wear and tear, at the cost of adding some bulk and making my iPhone a bit less pretty. But hey, compromises. The point is, if you're prone to dropping your iPhone or simply wish to protect it from daily scuffs, be sure to get a nice protective case for it. Because no matter how durable Apple makes them, iPhones can still scratch or crack quite easily after just one clumsy moment if you're unlucky. So this tip is just get a case. Getting a case for your iPhone 13 is also a great way to assure that it will remain in mint condition for the day you decide to sell it or trade it for an iPhone 14 when that one arrives later this year. And last but definitely not least, let's talk battery life. Most of your iPhone apps refresh in the background by default, even if they're closed, in order to check for and deliver to you new messages, push notifications, emails and so on. However, not all apps are equal and some you may want to disable from refreshing in the background which would have a positive impact on your battery life. Open the settings app on your iPhone, then navigate to general, then background app refresh. Here you'll see a list of all of your apps that refresh in the background and can disable the ones you don't feel are important. It's best to keep any messaging apps enabled, but other apps that don't need to update in order to send you important messages or notifications can be disabled, in which case those apps will refresh only when you open them. For example, I have background app refresh enabled for Instagram and Google Calendar because I get messages from the former and important notifications about my schedule from the latter but I've disabled background app refresh for pretty much all other apps. Obviously, if you have Facebook Messenger, Skype or Zoom installed, you want those to remain with background app refresh on so you won't miss any calls or messages. Again, the less apps refresh in the background, the better for your battery life. So let me quickly interrupt the video because this is a good moment to mention our sponsor Koval, which makes some very reliable and powerful chargers. So this year 120 watt Koval Sprint Charger is the perfect charging accessory with two USB-C ports and two standard USB ports on board so you can charge up to four devices all at the same time. For example, we have hooked up a MacBook, two phones and an iPad, all charging at the same time. The Kovo charger also uses the new GAN technology to stay cool while charging and charging speeds are really impressive too. You can fully top up a 16 inch MacBook Pro in just 1.7 hours. And we also love that it comes with an extension cable, adding just a bit more reach to the charger. So if you're looking for a quality powerful charger that you can use with multiple devices, this one is great. Check out the link in the description for a great deal and get yours right now. And now let's go back to the video. So there we have it, some fun and useful tips for your new iPhone 13. 
Hopefully you learned something new or at least found this video entertaining. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.